put a little paper in there, it would light it on fire. Ooh, I want to try. You can press this button, but I'm going to keep holding it to make sure that there you go. All right. No, okay, that's it. You're going to do it. You're not going to aim it towards Cooper. Look, you've got to do that. Welcome everyone. Great to see all of you here. Shabbat Shalom. We, for those of you who are watching from home, just had a wonderful indoor picnic uh, with many thanks to Sisterhood and Brotherhood for sponsoring it. Um, we hope you all enjoyed it. And uh, we'll be sure to schedule another one that we'll be able to enjoy outside, most likely in the fall where the weather pattern is a little bit drier and certainly much, much cooler. I'm Rabbi Matt Berger and joined uh, down right off the Bema, Eve Goldstein, who is our guitarist and she's representing the Board of Trustees Temple Leadership this evening, as well as Joy Katzen Guthrie, our accompanist. We're going to begin on page 10 with the words of Yadid Nefesh. You'll also find all of the prayers, both in Hebrew, English, and transliteration on the screens before you. Uh, you'll also find our prayer book, Mishkan Tefillah, Dwelling Place of Prayer, there as well, and that has transliteration throughout. So we're going to sing Yadid Nefesh, found on page 10 of the prayer book. Heart's Delight, Source of Mercy, Draw your servant into your arm. Ye di nefet, avarachaman, avarachaman. Mishok avdecha, el ritzonecha, Every 
Find the candle blessing on page two. First, we'll sing Debbie Friedman's Light These Lights. Oh, hear my prayer, I sing to you. Be gracious to the ones I love. Them with goodness and mercy and peace. Oh, hear my prayer to you. Let us light these lights and see the way to you. And let us say Amen. Let us light these lights and see the way to you and let us say amen my pleasure to call forward madeline greenberg she'll be lighting the candles and she and her husband jeff help to put together our wonderful indoor picnic you're looking for the lighter? The lighter, Cooper, is right. There it is. You did find it. Shana, but bits of tub, fitzy fanum, lahat leclair, shell shaba. us to kindle the two lights of Shabbat, one for remember and one for observed. Holy One, we ask now that you spread your shelter of peace over Ukraine, guard all of the families and all the lives who continue to be uprooted due to this conflict. May their bodies, their homes, 
and their land soon and once again be at peace. And let us do our part to build a loving, generous, just, and life-sustaining world speedily and in our own day. As we say together, Amen. We're going to turn to the words of Shalom Aleichem, peace be to you, Malachim, messengers of the Most High. You can find these words also on page 24 in your prayer books. Shalom Aleichem, Malachi Asharei, Malachi turn now to the words of the half or Hatsi Kaddish. You'll find these words of praise on 26. Yit Gadal, the Yit Gadash Me Raba, the Almadi Vraki Rutevi Amlik Mahute, Bechaye Hon Uv Yome Hon, Ufaye Doho Bet Israel, Bagala Bagala. Ubis Mahan Kari, Vimeru Amin, Yeheshme Raba Mevara, the Allah Mulal Mehamaya, Yit Bara, Yit Bara, the Yeshaba, Yit Bar, Vitromam, the Yit Nase, the Yit Adar, the Yit Ale, the Yit Alal. Jamaida Guda Shabri Hu, Lehe Lamin Kober Katava Shirata, Tushmecha Tavene Hemata, Dami Hiran Biyama, Vimeru Amen. Let's rise now for the Barhu, the call to prayer, and we're going to be sharing with you Eve Goldstein's arrangement for this beautiful prayer, our call to worship. Praise 
Adonai, the Holy One. Baruch Hu, Ez Adonai, Continue with a prayer for the evening, a prayer for creation. Mariva Ravim found on 31. Please join me. Praise to you, Adonai, our God, from whom the evening flows. Your wisdom sets the ways on which time and season glide. Your breath guides the sail of the stars. You guide the current of day into night. As heaven spans to infinity, you set its course for eternity. Praise to you, Adonai, our God, from whom the evening flows. Baruch atah Adonai, hama'ariv aravim. The prayer of love, ahavat olam, is found on 33. Wisdom and wonder, passion and instruction, story and symbol. All these things your Torah gives to us. The more we devote ourselves to it, the more it grows and gives. What could be a truer token of your abiding love? than this holiest of your works in the living language that gives it form. Baruch atah Adonai Ohev Amo Yisrael. And we'll sing Open Up Our Eyes, beautiful arrangement by Jeff Klepper. Open up our eyes Teach us how to live. Fill our hearts with joy and all the love you have to give. Gather us in peace as you lead us to your name. And we will know that you are one. will know that you are one. Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Echad Baruch to be seated and join me now in the singing of via hafta you shall love adonai your god with all your heart with all your soul and with all your might via hafta et adonai elohecha bechol levavcha bechol nafshecha ubechol meodecha vehayu advarim ha'ele Asher anoki metzavka hayom alevavecha vishinantam levanecha vidi barta bam vishivdecha bevetecha uvlechdecha vaderech uvshokvecha uvkumecha uksharta mleotayadecha 
Vihayu the tota fort, bain a necha, Uk top tam, Amisuzot beteka, Uvi shareka, Liman tiskeru, Vasitem echo misvotai, Vitem kiddoshim lelo echem, Ani Adonai lo echem, Asherot seti echem, Meretz me trying, the old lachem lelohim, Ani Adonai Elohechem. Words of truth and faith, Emet Be'umunah, are found on the top of page 39. Standing on the parted shores of history, we still believe what we are taught, forever we stood at Sinai's foot, that wherever we go, it is eternally Egypt. That there is a better place, a promised land. The winding way to that promise passes through the wilderness. There is no way to get from here to there except by joining hands, marching together. And we're going to sing our words of freedom, Mika Mocha, on page 40. <laughs> Thus it is said, Adonai redeemed Jacob from a hand stronger than his own. Praise are you, Adonai, for redeeming Israel. Baruch Ata Adonai, Ga'al Yisrael. We'll continue on 42 with the prayer, Hashki Venu, shelter and protection. Hashki Venu Adonai, Eloinu Lishalom, Hamidenu Shomri. Ashkivenu Adonai, Eloinu Lishalom, Hamidenu Shomri, Nu Lechai. Pushmor Zetenu, Hami 
Dainu Shomri Nu Blessed are you, God, guardian of Israel, whose shelter of peace spread over us, over all your people, Israel, and over Jerusalem. Baruch Adonai, shalom, aleinu kol amo Yisrael, ve'al Yerushalayim. We're going to continue now on page 46 with our standing prayers. I'll ask all of us to rise. We ask God to open our lips for listening to our prayers. Adonai sefatai tifta ufi agitagilateka Adonai open up my lips that my mouth may declare your praise. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu velohe avotinu vimotinu Elohe Abraham, Elohe Yisak, Elohe Yaakov, Elohe Sarah, Elohe Rivka, Elohe Rachel, Elohe Leah, Ael Hagadol Agipor Vehanora, El Elyon, Go Mel Chasadim Tovim, Vekone Hako, Vezoher Chasavot Vimahot, who may be Gula, leave Nevenehem, the Manchemo Beava, Melech Ozerum Oshia, who magain, Baruchata Adonai, Magain Avraham, Vez Ratsaram, Atagi Borleo Lamadonai, Mikaye Hakol, Atarab Lehoshia, Morita Tal. Mechakel Chaim Bechesed, Mechaye Ako Berachamim Rabim, So make no flim Berofek Olim, O Matir Asurim, O Mechaye Memunato, Lishene Afar, Mechamocha Bal Givurot, O Midomela. Melech me me, O Mechaye, O Matmiach Yeshua, Benemon Atala Kayotako, Baruchat Adonai, Mechaye, Ahakol, Atakadosh, Shim Kakadosh, Ugadoshim behold Yom Yalu Hasela, Baruchat Adonai. Ha'el ha'kadosh. Feel free to be seated, and we'll continue with the remaining blessings of the tefillah. First on page 55 for Shabbat's holiness. Baruch atah Adonai mikadesh ha'shabbat, as we set apart this day for rest and reflection prayer that God's presence will always be in Zion and Israel and with us wherever we are. Baruch atah Adonai HaMachazir Shechinato Litzion. And a prayer of gratitude. Hoda'a Baruch atah Adonai Atov Shimcha Ulcha Na'eh Lechodot. And our final prayer of the tefillah is always for shalom, that sense of peace. Grant abundant peace to Israel, your people, forever. For you are the sovereign God of all peace. May it be pleasing to you to bless your people, Israel, in every season and moment with your peace. Blessed are you, Adonai, who blesses your people, Israel, with peace. Baruch atah Adonai, hambarech et amo Yisrael, Shalom. And as we take some time for our own thoughts and reflections. I'll invite us to turn to page 62, where we'll sing words of peace, so say Shalom Bimromav together. Shalom Bim Roma Uya Se Shalom Aleinu Ve'al 
take this time now to offer words and a special prayer of healing called Mishaberach, God the one who blesses. You'll find these words on the screen before you as well as on page 253 in your prayer books as we call to mind individuals close to us, perhaps here, perhaps farther away who need strength, courage, and ultimately a refuah shlema, a body, healing of body, mind, and spirit. This time, we think of Chris Aldridge, Yonatan Ruven Ben Rivka, Charlie Burke, Norma Bloomberg Van Ness, Babs Brown, Constantino Christulakis, Manuel Cruz, Eddie Deerfield, Barbara Berman Dobkin, Evelyn Edelman, Rob Edelman, Corrine Fairfield, Harry Fleisch, Denise Freifeld, Mitchell Freifeld, Mark Gittimer, Catherine Goldstein, Leah Gottlieb, David Herron, Don Hirschman, Nick Martin, Arnold Miller, Melissa Miller, William Miller, Michael Ranzino, Rabbi Avram Reifer, Abby Richmond, Bill Ross, Stephanie Ross, Dennis Schulman, Jeff Stark, Stephen Strauss, Jacqueline Sunheim, John Walsh, Sharon Worcester, and Sophia Young. Any other names to add for healing at this time? back in 2010, Mark Jasper and Ann Rosen wrote a book. Not a big one, mind you, but the font size itself was rather large. This colorful book talks about one of my favorite places in the world, Eretz Yisrael, the land of Israel. The text begins, good morning, Israel, shalom, old Jaffa port. Are we ready to share a wonderful day? 
Good morning, Jerusalem. Look at all the yummy food at the Machene Yehuda Market. Good morning, Tower of David. Hello, Western Wall, where many people offer their prayers. Let's all go to Masada and ride the cable car all the way to the top of the mountain. Don't look down, oy vey. At this point, just in case you're wondering, we're about a third of the way through the book. I can imagine the wheel spinning in your head right now. What type of book is Rabbi Matt talking about anyway? I'll tell you and show you. This type of book. The kind of book that PJ Library prints out by the thousands and gives to little Jewish kids, their parents, and their grandparents. Not only here in the US, but on four other continents to boot, with more than 670,000 regular subscribers. That's a lot of board books. I happened across this little gem last night when I was walking from the kitchen toward my home office to write down these very words. I had paused just for a moment in thought, and then I turned to my left and smack dab in the middle of a seven foot tall bookcase filled with old bar and bat mitzvah photo albums, some VHS tapes, which I couldn't even play if I wanted to. There are hundreds of Jewish books, all courtesy of the generous donors at the PJ Library. A wonderful program for Jewish families because we are, after all, Am Sefer, the people of the book. Sitting down on the computer with this book still in hand, I scrolled through the news and found two very compelling images. The first showed a nighttime view of the Kotel or Western Wall in Jerusalem, with the entirety of the Western Wall, all 160 feet of it, lit up with a giant picture of two colorful flags side by side. On the left, the flag of the US, and on the right, the flag, or Degel, as Israeli calls it, of Midinat Yisrael, the state of Israel. It was a fascinating confluence of ideas. On the one hand, images of the flag are by nature political, as they represent sovereign nations. On the other hand, the Kotel or Western Wall is a religious site known the world over. In fact, technically, it's an open air traditional synagogue, which happens to be the holiest site in the Jewish world. I'm sure that many of us, these past few days in particular, have thought about Israel and its longstanding relationship with the US especially in light of President Biden's recent visit to the Holy Land. Of course, the Israel that Mark Jasper and Ann Rosen describe in their board book is simple and sweet. That's what happens when you fill pages with colorful, ripe watermelons and amazing cable car rides that go all the way to the top of Masada, which at one time was King Herod's Western Palace by the Dead Sea. Though I will say that both the snake path as well as the Roman road are also incredible routes and ways that you can get up the mountain. And they shouldn't be missed if you're in Israel, although you have to go up Masada on three separate occasions. The Israel that President Biden visited this week is amazing, and yes, it's very colorful. But at the same time, it's very complex. Year after year, it breathes new life into the world, offering new discoveries, whether in archaeology, medicine, defense, or technology, among others. Yet finding lasting peace in Israel remains an ongoing challenge, one that continues from generation to generation. During his Middle East trip, Biden met with the Israeli Prime Minister, now Yair Lapid, and he received the Presidential Medal of Honor from Isaac Herzog. He also visited with former Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, the opposition leader in Israeli government. Earlier today, President Biden visited a hospital in East Jerusalem, a mostly Palestinian neighborhood, 
to announce U.S. funding for health care initiatives, and it was an important and symbolic gesture of support. He also met with Palestinian Authority President Mahmoud Abbas in Bethlehem. Now, President Biden is in Saudi Arabia to ascend the summit of Gulf nations. And just yesterday, Saudi Arabia announced that it would open its airspace to all airline carriers, paving the way for future flights to and from Israel, which is really an amazing achievement considering that about two and a half years ago, you couldn't even enter Saudi Arabia with an Israeli passport. To my mind, Israel is wonderfully complex. It has well over 3,000 years of history. It's filled with sites both ancient and modern, a place where three monotheistic religions somehow coexist with Jerusalem at its spiritual center. One of my favorite Israeli poets, the late Yehuda Amichai, once wrote about the city, the air over Jerusalem is saturated by prayers and dreams, like the air over industrial cities. It's hard to breathe. It's an amazing description of the holy city, which does feel spiritually different, as well as heavily laden with errors of history just as Jerusalem reminds us from time to time of the continuing divide in Israeli-Palestinian relations. Where else would President Biden go to receive an update on the Iron Dome defense system that could soon strike down incoming missiles with Jewish-designed laser beams, which up until now was only a pipe dream that you would find in films like Star Wars? Truth be told, seeing that image of the American and Israeli flags lit up on the Kotel or Western Wall with its artful mix of old and new made me really proud because it's always special when a sitting U.S. president visits the state of Israel, one of our ironclad allies and a steadfast friend of our Jewish homeland. The second image that I saw on the computer, and at this point the book was right on the desk, took place just a few miles away at Teddy Stadium. It's called Teddy Stadium because it's named for the late Jerusalem mayor, Teddy Kollek, who was much beloved. Here a crowd of well over 30,000 people lit up with specks of light as every single person in the stands flashed their phones, awaiting the start of the Maccabi Games. And with over 10,000 athletes in attendance, it's far and away the largest sporting competition in the world this year. As an avid sporting fan, President Biden's visit there with his Israeli counterpart, Isaac Herzog, surely brought a whole lot of positive visibility to what is also called the Jewish Olympic Games. Yet with all the fanfare and symbolism surrounding President Biden's visit, there's still no current plan to advance the Israeli-Palestinian peace process. This was affirmed two days ago by Israel's current Prime Minister Lapid, who's considered left of center in the spectrum of Israeli politics. And it was offered, also reaffirmed yesterday by Biden, who conceded that the ground isn't ripe at the moment for restarting the peace process. Still, in what I'll call a 4G presidential gesture of goodwill, Biden announced that Palestinian cellular companies in the West Bank and Gaza will be allowed to connect to fourth generation networks, hopefully by the end of 2023. And if this comes to fruition, it'll certainly help to bolster Palestinian businesses as well as their economy, which is a good thing. Throughout President Biden's visit to Israel this week, he underscored the ways that the U.S. and Israel are aligned, while at the same time, he noticed one unique way in which America and Israel 
aren't on the same page. When he accepted Israel's highest prize, the Presidential Medal of Honor, Biden actually quoted from this week's Torah portion called Balaam. He said, the Torah tells the story of the prophet Balaam, who described the ancient Israelis as the people who dwelt alone. To this, Biden added that, in fact, Israel now has many allies from countries throughout the world. He then noted a unique and all call very arcane pattern in the annual cycle of reading Torah. Every few years, because of differences in worship between Israeli Jews and diasporan Jews, Israelis actually read a different portion than we do here in the U.S. So it is with this week's Torah reading. Here in the U.S., we read Balak, while in Israel, they read from Pinchas, which we'll read next week. I'd say that someone in President Biden's circle deserves a pretty big and bright gold star for noting that special difference. As Biden's Middle East trip continues in Saudi Arabia, I'm thankful that Israel was front and center in the news cycle this week. By and large, it was a very powerful and positive visit. And while Israel isn't always so colorful, and it doesn't always have ripe watermelons, although it does have the cable car that goes up to Masada each and every day, it's still the only democracy in the Middle East. It's filled with great beauty, not only natural beauty, but beauty in terms of its people, its ideas, and its ideals. Israel is our Jewish homeland and a nation that will always strive for peace, will always strive for hope for the future, and is always trying to listen and heed the prophet Isaiah's call to be an or lagoyim, a light unto the nations. Shabbat Shalom. We're going to continue on page 282 with the words of Adoration, words of Elenu. Please rise as the ark is opened. <laughs> Kamishpakota Adama, Shelo Sam Kelkinu Kaem, Begora Lenu Kekola Monam, Banafnu Kori, Umishaka Bim Umodi, Lifne Mele, Malke Hamlakin, Akadosh. Baruchu Benemar Shehai Adonai Lamelech Al Koha Ares Bayomaku Bayomaku Ye Adonai Echad Ushemo Ushemo Feel free to be seated. You'll find the words to Kadisha Tome, Morris Kaddish, words of praise on page 294. As we call to mind and to heart, Families in the period of Shloshim, the first 30 days mourning their loved one. As we fondly remember Scott Loesch, friend of Denise Freifeld and Mitch Freifeld. Alfred Moratelli, brother-in-law of Deborah Arnold. Ellie Doff, mother of Melissa Doff. 
Lysol Schick, mother of Nancy Greenberg, Cyril Chagrin, mother of Barbara Chagrin, Howard Chagrin, and Faye Tagarin. And we note the recent death of Sylvia Eisner, mother of Tammy Wolf, our director of our religious school. We also mark the yard site anniversary of passing of the following individuals on this Shabbat. We remember Yinto Bahar, Ruth Berkison, Barry Berkowitz, B. Samuel Berman, David Bowman, John C. Cleveland, Max Eckber, Jane Elbaum, Donald Curtis Ford, Lillian Freifeld, Selma Freudenthal, Echo Goldman, Sidney Gardeski, Mae Greenberg, Mildred Grossman, Joseph Halpern, Florin Hess, John Hortichuk, Jack Itzkowitz, Stephen Kligerman, Harold Cronenberg, Robert Lang, Henny Levy, Clara Markowitz, Julius Novak, Sylvia Uziel, Jean Patrick, Charles Perlman, David Rivland, Bud Rothschild, Martha S. Letterer, Adele Schwartz, Nahama Schwartzine, Ruth Harrison Seligman, Rabbi Mark Dove Shapiro, Stanley Silverstein, Anna Weiss, and Leonard Winston. Are there any other names to add for yard site at this time? We say, Zichronam Livracha, may the memories of all of these good people continue to be a source of blessing in their loved ones' lives as we rise together to offer the words of Kaddish praise. Yitkadal v'yitkadash shemei rabah, y'almad yivrach yirutei v'yamlich malchutei, chayechon yuvyamechon v'chayei d'chol beit Yisrael, v'agalav v'isman karivi imru, amen. Yehei shemei rabah mivarach le'alam ulamei almaya, yitbarach v'yitshamar v'yitpa'ar v'yitromam v'yitnaseh, V'yitadar, v'yitale, v'yitalal, shemei dekudasha b'riku. L'ela min kol birchata v'shirata, tushpechata v'nechemata, d'amiran v'alma v'imru, amen. Yehei shlama rabba min shemaya, v'chayim alinu v'alko Yisrael v'imru, amen. Ose shalom b'mrama v'chuya ase shalom, alinu v'alko Yisrael Bimru, amen. May the one who causes peace in the heavens cause peace to descend on us, Israel, and throughout the world, to which we say, amen. Bimru, 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 amen. Bimru, 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 amen. Feel free to be seated. We'll turn now to the words of the Shabbat Kiddush, which is also found on page five in the Sidur, in the prayer book. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, Forei b'ria gafen. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, Asher kiddishanu b'mitzvotav, V'ratzavanu, V'shabbat kodcho, V'yavahu b'ratzon, Hin kilanu, Zikaron l'mahaseh b'reshit, Ki hu yom tekila, L'migra e'kodesh, Zecher letziat Mitzrayim. Ki vanu v'aparta, Biltanu kidasha, Mikoho amin. Veshabat kochecha, Veavahu v'ratzon, Please 
join me in the motzi, the blessing over the bread. A motzi lechem in aretz. We give thanks to God for bread. Our voices rise in song together as our joyful prayer is said. Baruch Adonai. Eloheinu melech olam, amotzi lechem in aretz, amen. Before I invite Eve Goldstein up to share some Shabbat announcements, there was something that I wrote before services. I'm not going to have you read my chicken scratch, uh, as it's sometimes called. Uh, once again, thank you to Cicero and Brotherhood for sponsoring our awesome indoor picnic, with special thanks to our chef, Vinny, as well as to David, Albert, Bill, and Brad, all from the Brotherhood. Not so easy to spend time like that outside when it's about 89 degrees with a 75 degree dew point. But thank you so much for helping feed us before services. Now, my pleasure to call E forward. Yeah, you can use that one. Um, Shabbat Shalom, everybody. So again, thanks to the Brotherhood and Sisterhood for a really fun inside picnic tonight. Um, and many thanks to Rabbi Matt and to Joy for a beautiful service. And thanks to Bruce Lowett and Saul on tech back there. Thank you. Way to go. Hello out there in TV land. Um, so a couple of announcements. The uh, Sisterhood Honey Fundraiser for, the, for Rosh Hashanah has begun. You can bring some sweetness to the High Holy Days once again this year. Um, and if you do it early, it's uh, a little bit less. You don't pay extra shipping charges. I don't remember the date, though. Um, but definitely do it. It's really fun to get honey in the mail from your friends. Um, let's see. Next week's Shabbat service will be led by two of our congregants, Lillian Epstein and Betty Slavney. Um, our assistant soloist, Michelle Konigsberg, will be here. And, of course, Joy will be here. Um, there's a couple of other things. Chai Mitzvah, um, Thursday, July 21st, by Zoom. They're studying and discussing the Ten Commandments. Uh, book club is Sunday, July 24th, which is here at Temple in person. And there's a special singles oneg on July 29th. Um, following this service, there's an oneg. So please join us. And again, thanks and Shabbat Shalom. Thank you so much, Eve, and also for your beautiful guitar playing as well. Uh, we will have an oneg, although I will say stuff was pretty uh, well cleared off. So we'll definitely have some liquids and we'll have some dessert left for Oneg, but I think a lot of it was already polished off. Uh, but we'll see what we get right after services, and for those of you at home, just go and get a snack or a dessert for yourself. Our closing song, uh, in honor of the Middle East trip this week, will be Rabbi Shlomo Karbach's arrangement of Am Yisrael High, The People of Israel Lives. I'm Yisrael, I'm Yisrael, I'm Yisrael high. 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 Oh Davinu high, oh Davinu high, oh Davinu, oh Davinu, oh Davinu high. O da vinu kai, O da vinu kai, O da vinu, O da vinu, O da vinu kai. I'm Yisrael, I'm Yisrael, I'm Yisrael 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 kai. O da vinu kai, O da vinu kai, 
Let's conclude with our prayer for health and well-being. Baruch Atah Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Asher Kichanu B'Misvotah Vitzivanu Al Shmirat HaNefesh The importance of caring for our own lives and health as well as the lives and health of those we love in our community around us. Shabbat Shalom one and all. For those of you who are home, I will see you two Fridays from now. Good Shabbos.